After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Roker doesn't know shit. That's right. Very impressive. Otacon, do you read me? Loud and clear, Snake. Everything okay on your end? Well, the stealth camo's busted. Gonna need you to make me a new one. Okay, but I'll need a ridiculously large number of dog tags to melt down for the components. And I'm sure those will be fun to acquire. Anyway, since Ocelot sold the specs to Metal Gear on the black market after the Shadow Moses incident, now every state, group, and dot com has their own version of Metal Gear. Wait. What? Let's see how Yahoo likes this up their ass! The only thing we know about this Metal Gear is that it's been described as an amphibious anti-Metal Gear vehicle designed to wipe the floor with all current Rex derivatives. An anti-Metal Gear... Metal Gear? Stop and saying why are we against gear. this again? We are part of Philanthropy, an anti-Metal Gear organization. This means we're against all models of Metal Gear, regardless of whether we end up shooting ourselves in the foot. Oh, I get it. So we're idiots now. You need to sneak into the holds and get pictures of the new Metal Gear that the government won't be able to deny. Because we all know how awful the government is with cover-ups. Wait, what the? Well, there's one problem down. Hey, Otacon, these guys are terrorists, not Marines. I get to kill them, right? Uh, yes, Snake, you can kill them. <sighs> Snake, eyes on the finish line. Yeah, yeah. Never let me have any fun. Thought I heard a ridiculously over-the-top accent this way. This should be good for a laugh. Father, the explosives have been set in place. It is now a vision. The series will blow big time. Cool. Now get the hell out of here. You may be more combat adept than any given one of my soldiers. But you have a vagina and are therefore useless. Plus some other thing about being pregnant with my granddaughter, I guess. Dad, come on! You'll never let me do anything I want! Freeze! Don't I recognize your voice from somewhere? Just a coincidence. But I could swear you sound exactly like... Two years ago, I jumped off a rocket. This is nothing. Only in the GameCube version, which, as I recall, was made after this game. And does that make you feel any better about missing? Well, I... Dirt in your uh, face! Uh, uh. Hmm, live ammunition. Thank you, new best friend. You get to live now. Hey, Snake, I got the info on this new Metal Gear from a completely anonymous source. What? Wait, you sent me in here based on what a complete stranger told you? N not necessarily. They use the name EE, -E, which are the same initials my stepsister has. Snake? Um, Snake, are you okay? Oh, okay, just be on your guard, alright? Oh, that'll keep that mulleted psycho away from me. Hmm? Oh, Shalashoska! Thank the motherland, you're here to save- Bullet in your face! Oh, I love doing that! The place is filled to the brim with marines. I couldn't take them even if I wanted to. You want to, don't you? You have no idea. But believe it or not, I'd rather not have my testes hooked to a car battery today. Metal Gear. There, I said it. Now nobody has to repeat it in the comments ever again. Hmm. I wonder if I can play any of the wonderful games from Konami on this thing. And now that my speech is done by way of cutting for time, you are dismissed. 
Not sure if you could tell, but this is my sarcastic clap. Identify yourself. I am Revolver Ocelot, but your mama knows me as Funk Master McGee. Should we have shot him by now? Uh, probably. Ha! Man made of chocolate now belongs to me. If my finger so much as twitches, this entire tanker goes down faster than a Naruto AMV. Naruto AMVs get taken down from YouTube a lot! That was the implication, yes. What's your stake in all this? Russia sucks butt now. We want to make it all awesome again, so we will survey, and then that money will make everything better. Forever! Nope. <laughs> Traitorous! Dog! Yes, yes, you're a stereotypical Russian. Might as well welcome the cold embrace of death. It's a little warmer than ho. Oh, it's floaty time is now. Ocelot! Oh, crap, not this again. It's been a while, brother. What the hell? Don't recognize me, Snake? Well, they do say memory's the first thing to go. But while your body wastes away, I live on through this arm! Sorry, I just can't accept this. Accept it, brother! I shall surpass... No, this is... It's just too stupid. You're not seriously telling me that you're possessing Ocelot's body through your arm. Look, I don't like it any more than you do. Every time this old bastard yanks his meat, I'm the one who has to get in there. And do you know what he's thinking about when he does it? Our dad. Just think about that for a second before you bitch about how the situation affects you. Oh boy, chaos and destruction were my first activation. Life is gonna be awesome. Whee! Right, cut a hole in that wall for me. Whatever you say, Mommy. I love you. See, do you ever shut up? Mommy, I want to play hopscotch. Ah, oh, hell. Yes. Everything's gone exactly as planned, sir. Hey, what happened to my mommy? What on earth are you talking about? Hi, mommy. Mr. President, I'm going to need either an EMP or a very blunt object. for mission briefing. Raiden, you can cut that out. Nobody's buying it. What do you mean, Raiden? My code name is Snake. No, just uh, stop. Everyone and their grandmother thinks they can do a snake impression. They're all horrible, and it's annoying as hell to listen to. So for the sake of the viewers, and for your own dignity, just knock that shit off. Understood, sir. Now, let's move on to a more substantial point. You remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Colonel, that made the international news. Well, I'm still going to talk about it. The government put a cleanup facility around the spill. The Big Shell. Again, these are things that everybody in the world knows, but go on. The Big Shell has been seized by former members of the Navy SEAL's anti-terrorist training squad, Dead Cell. 
There's also rumors that they may have hired some desperate Russians to do the grunt work. What do they want? Thirty billion dollars and a working copy of Zone of the Enders, the second runner. Preposterous! Where are they going to find a copy of ZOE2? Wherever they do, they had better find it fast. These guys have already taken several big business owners as hostages. Oh, and they've got the president too, I guess. Your mission is to infiltrate the facility, rescue the hostages, and disarm the terrorists, if you know what I mean. Cut off their arms? Kill them. Ah, gotcha. So I trust you prepared properly. I've watched every episode of The Abridged Snake start to finish three times in a row. No unnecessary visual gags or awkward tangents will get the jump on me. Excellent. Then commence the operation. Who the hell? All right, Otacon. I've got to go. Kojimo wanted to talk to me about taking the game in a different direction or something like that. I don't know what he means. Colonel, there's another intruder besides me. No, there isn't. Now go shock yourself. Okay. Ah! Oh, God! All right, now what? Talk to Rose. Ah! Oh, God! Jack, are you okay? You're not experiencing nausea from swimming so long, are you? Do you need a towel? Colonel, we need to send him a towel. Everything's fine, Rose. Tomorrow is April 30th. Don't you remember how important April 30th is? No. Rose, just let me speak to the colonel. Okay. I love you. Take care. Make sure not to strain your vocal cord- God, shut up! Colonel, what's she doing here? She's the data analyst for this mission. Why? We felt like f***ing with you. Oh. Should I be worried? Probably. But you've got a mission to fulfill. So be a good little bitch and get on the elevator. The terrorists are calling themselves the sons of a Bridgerty. A Bridgerty? Is that even a word? It is according to their leader, Solid Snake. Oh, well, that's... What? It's not that one. He died on that tanker two years ago. But why would their leader be using his name? The dude may have been a terrorist, but everything he did was awesome. Who wouldn't want to imitate him? Dumb people, that's who. Huh. Why does that sound strangely familiar? Never mind that. Listen to this. Seal Team 10, have you secured the president? Yeah, the thing about that is, there's this guy, you see, and he's kind of been, you know, killing us. What? How are you being beaten by one man? Yeah, see, he's kind of like a vampire or something. <sighs> yeah, you have got to be shitting me. No, also I'm dead now. Hey guys, guess what? The new position just opened up on SEAL Team 10! Yay! Huh, well this is odd. Yep, something's certainly out of place here. Okay, he's around here somewhere, so just play cool in. Ah! Damn it, Barry! What did I just say? Ah! Uh, per permission to freak out, sir? Sir? Ah! <laughs> you wouldn't kill a seal with two kids, would you? I don't know. Would you tell me where they live? Uh, no. Ah! Wrong answer. Thanks for playing. Second tastiest of bodily fluids. What the hell? Fine. What is your deal? <laughs> Innuendo. Or rather, in your endo. Real original jackass. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna start crying now. Back in my day, you had to set up the sex jokes yourself, not just steal the most obvious ones. <laughs> Ooh, rare item drop. Ugh. Am I making you uncomfortable? Very much so. Good. <clears throat> what the hell is taking you, kid? Bye. You certainly should off quickly, don't you? 
Sam! Sam, are you done being creepy and unsettling? No, but I can always put it on hold. Later, haters. I really hope that's warm seawater sloshing around down there. Easy there, kid. Who just saved your ass from Count Rapula? Fair enough. My name is, uh, pseudonym McFake name. That sounds plenty trustworthy to me. I'm a lieutenant junior grade of the Navy SEALs. <coughs> Roaches are known liars. Anyway, what's a little tyke like you doing with a foxhound sneaking suit? I'm really good at video games, and I watched through the abridged series of the Shadow Moses incident a bunch of times, so I'm in Foxhound now. Kid, watching an abridged series and making one are two very different things. <clears throat> anyway, that unholy freak you just saw was Vamp, a member of Dead Cell. They were arranged to give gamers such as yourself experience with the real deal. Problem is, they got a little too into the role, and civilians started dying. Needless to say, they were disbanded quicker than you could beat Portal the second time through. Portal? <laughs> the cake is a- Shut the fuck up! Yes, sir. Um, what about their leader? He calls himself Solid Snake. Snake is dead, and he always will be. Forever! Okay, wow, did that roach lay eggs in your ass or something? Wouldn't be the first time. Look, just take this and get out of my finely mulleted hair. By the way, never caught your name. It's Raiden. Apparently. That's weird. You're weird and you suck at everything. I don't need this. Yes, you do! Come back here and take my derision! Uh, what are we shooting at? Not sure. We've got to wait for the establishing shot. Ah, there we go. They sure do love wasting ammo. If only they could kill me. Oh, give it a rest. Fire! <laughs> you know, given how few people want to quality test these things, I probably shouldn't be shocked. Maybe not. <laughs> but you will be! Oh, you didn't care that so we can die with dignity! I'm far blander than any of these nameless soldiers, so why can't I die? Raiden, the terrorists have wired C4 across every strut of the big shell. Get to strut C, and find the bomb disposal expert the SEALs brought in. What? Colonel, I just saw a clinically depressed black woman deflect bullets. And before that, a sexually deviant vampire. Just what's going on here? What aren't you telling me? Jack, stop having a reasonable reaction to an incredibly odd and dangerous situation. Well, I should probably be on my guard, but I guess completely throwing away any misgivings about all this craziness couldn't hurt. Freeze! Don't shoot! I'm totally, legitimately crippled! Take it easy, kid. This is Peter Stillman, the bomb disposal expert. Who the hell taught you how to greet people like that anyway? Remember, Jack. Everyone you will ever meet may be out for your life. Be certain to have a firearm at the ready whenever breaking the ice. Understood, sir. Now, go slaughter that village. I'd hate to waste more perfectly good gunpowder on your chicken nuggets. You told me that was pepper. I tell you a lot of things. Now go kill for me. Force of habit, I guess. Did I mention that I lost my leg trying to save a church? Cool story, bro. Anyway, about those bombs. Those were wired by Fat Man, a pupil of mine until he turned to evil. Fat Man? It, it, it works on multiple levels, see, because that's the name of a nuclear warhead, and because he's really, really fat. 
Yeah, I got that much. Just tell us how to dispose of the bombs. Use this coolant spray to freeze them. Nifty. Well, I'd love to stay here and chat with you losers, but I've got lives to save. We're here, we're queer, get used to it. I mean, uh, one for all and all for- Ah, screw it. That man's no seal, I can tell. I know every seal in the world. You don't trust him? Actually, I trust him more than I trust you. Okay, that's not insulting or anything. Just take care of those bombs. Will do, but for the record, if I ever find that leg of yours, I'm coming straight back here and shoving it right up your ass. What is it with you and asses, anyway? Shut up! I don't like the look of that box. Oh, Jesus! McFake name. I saw someone running around in a cardboard box just now. A box, you say? Yeah, there was something about his voice. Do you think he's a member of Dead Cell? No, uh, you should probably just ignore him completely. You're right. After all, anyone crazy enough to go running around in a cardboard box has got to be dangerous. Crazy! Listen, you little shit! Do you know how many times a day I hear, Why do you hide in a box? It's so ridiculous that you hide in a box! You should stop hiding in a box! Well, you know what? You can't just stop hiding in a box. The box becomes you. You become the box. It's a state of being most people can't even imagine. So before you go around running your judgmental little mouth, put yourself in the damn box, and then just try to conceive your life without it! <sighs> God, I wish I was talking to Otacon instead. Wow, that thought really just popped into my head. <sighs> Jeffrey, those bodies are for burning! If you're hungry, Jerry Falwell's right over there! Remember the day we met? Um, Rose, not sure if you've noticed, but I need to hustle. I want to get into heaven, you see. And I don't think those hostages will put in a good word if they die because of me. Either we talk now, or I call you every two seconds. <sighs> yeah, I remember. It was at the Empire State Building. Some Japanese tourists were asking me if that was the building King Kong climbed in the movie, and I told them that that was actually the Chrysler Building. And I came along and corrected you, telling you it actually was the Empire State Building. Mm-hmm. And then, wait, corrected? Well, of course. I mean, everyone knows King Kong climbed the Empire State Building. That's sort of in the realm of common knowledge. Um, I really think it was the Chrysler Building, Jack. Well, I'm not trying to say you're wrong, it's just that you're, you know, really fucking wrong. Shut up, Jack. I know it was the Chrysler Building. I saw the damn movie. Fine. Be as wrong as you want to be. I've got some slightly less volatile bombs to attend to. Oh, you did not just- Olga, what is it? You're interrupting my favorite performance of Don Giovanni. You can practically feel Mozart's inner torment through the- That's fantastic, sir. Perhaps you'd like to know that I saw a cyborg ninja and a man in a cardboard box sneaking around. Well, that's pretty much par for the course, isn't it? The ninja doesn't concern me, but that box could spell trouble. Is it still April Fool's? Olga, believe me when I tell you that that box poses a very real and present threat. Alert all personnel to be on the lookout for it. Ah, understood. Over and out. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. And what led you to that assumption? Well, you look like a main character and, uh... Too long not listening. Is anyone keeping track of all the weird shit that happens here? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Be careful. Use our claymore mines in that area. Use the mine detector. Who is this? You might call me Handjob. Handjob? From Shadow Moses? No. Actually, um, how about you just call me Mr. X? Mr. X? From the first annual robot tournament? First annual. Oh, Mega Man Seats. That was obscure. If you thought that was good. I've got this great portal reference. No, no you don't. Right, there's bigger bombs we didn't know about, and they're invisible to the sensors. You know, I love how this episode is almost all codec calls. Raiden, you've still got one bomb left to go, right? Yeah, I guess it's implied that I took care of all the other ones off screen. Then I'll take care of the big ones. You just stay put, Gimpy. I can get there and- I can walk just fine. Even run. I faked losing my legs so I could be a victim too. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two legs. Um, wouldn't faking a leg injury for that long and that convincingly cause long-term muscle stiffness resulting in actual leg damage? Oh, I'm sorry. Have you been living a lie? Just go find the new sensor I left lying in the strut seat pantry. Okay, I got it. Now what? I've reached the big one in Shell 2. The detonator hasn't been activated yet, but it's surrounded by sensors, probably connected to each of the C4s. There's only one still going. And now I'm gonna freeze it. I'm helping. Damn! Ryden, hurry to the bottom of Strut A now! Oh boy, I can't wait to just automatically be at Strut A when the call ends. What'd I say? Ryden, make fake name. Listen up. Fat Man's got my number. I set off the proximity trigger on this thing and now it looks like I'm gonna die. In retrospect, licking it wasn't the brightest idea I've ever had. Stillman, get the hell out of there! No. Finally, looks like I'll be able to put this nightmare behind me. Colonel, the explosives have been taken care of. Good work, Ryden. By the way, while you were working on that, the terrorists killed a hostage. You know, I remember when hard work and perseverance were rewarded. Those sure were fun times. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. And that's because nothing makes me happy. Ever. But I certainly wouldn't object to some Kentucky Fried Snake! Stop! I'm allergic to exploding! You're not him? Whatever. If I can't die, you might as well. Besides, I get the impression rather few would miss you. Why does everyone keep saying that? Fatman has contacted us. It seems he's placed a bomb on the heliport. He's giving you 400 seconds to find it before it blows. I appreciate the heads up, Colonel, but could you maybe have picked a better time for it? Like a not in danger of being roasted alive by a bulletproof psycho bitch time? You say that now, but 400 seconds in the future with your head still connected to your spine? You'll thank me. Having fun? What do you think? I think we've got a problem with Fat Man that the boss wants you to attend to ASAP. Alright. Perhaps he can put my soul to rest. This little dickwad sure couldn't. Dickwad, eh? Sounds fun. He's all yours. This will work! Oh! 
No! If it didn't work the first 80 times, it's not going to work now. I thought you could bring me peace, but all that you've done has brought me misery, pain, and other such synonyms for sadness. Another sorrow Awkward. piled atop a lifetime of tragedy. Oh, cruel fate. Oh, malicious destiny. How much longer must you continue to torture me? Queen. <gasps> Vamp! Yes, your queen is here. No. Queen. <laughs> And that's the last bomb ever in the world. I'm growing rather weary of this hyperbole gag Quadros has a hot on for. You are huge! That means you have huge guts! A toast. To my final victory over Peter Stillman. Hey, Stillman was a hero. His soul was a shining beacon of light in a dark world. <laughs> I agree. The man who let a church explode and faked having his leg blown off to garner sympathy and dodge any sort of responsibility was such an honorable figure. Let's name a holiday after him. And what about you? You're nothing but a mad bomber. Nobody will remember you. Kid, I'm a 270-pound sociopath zipping around on roller skates. I'd be worried about the fellow who doesn't remember me. But more so than that, I am the Emperor of Explosives, the Dictator of Detonation, the Monarch of Munitions, the Baron of Bullshit. Ah! That tears it! Questioning my integrity as a madman is one thing, but making me break my favorite glass? You just stepped into boss fight country, and the Border Patrol doesn't check your bags here. They just blow you to bits. Well, there's a flimsy excuse for the inevitable. I mean, it's like if I said I wore mascara as a test subject to save the animals. Ow. Why would you wear it? You don't think I get this dreamy gaze naturally, do you? I wouldn't know. I'm not a 14-year-old girl. You know this would do wonders for your image. Wouldn't you know? And here I thought Queer Eye was cancelled years ago. Yeah, well, good luck with all those Batman fangirls. Ugh. Those several shots to the head stung a little more than I thought they would. You're about to lose a lot of weight, fat man, thanks to the Riding Weight Loss Program, the program which consists of your death. You may be decent in a fight, but you can't deliver a pun to save your life, which is a shame, because it just may have. What is this? Let's just say you're going to get a real blast out of it. <laughs> Uh, I just got one-linered by my victim. Pierce Brosnan would be so ashamed. Right. How's the fat man situation? Oh yeah, I totally wasted him. Threw out the coolest line before he died, too. Wouldn't have nearly the same effect now, though. You really had to be there. Yeah, I'm sure it sounded terribly clever in your head. What about Shell 2? Ah, the whole place has been blown to hell. Good thing it's Sunday, so all the hostages were in Shell 1. But it's Wednesday. Details, details. Look, I've gotten an uh, acquaintance who will be flying the hostages out via chopper. You take care of the president. Oh, and make sure to keep him at, at least an arm's length away. Why is that? Make fake name? You should heed his advice. That guy is a weirdo. And a shanky son. Identify yourself. I believe you know me as Mr. X. And by saving your code, we must have a conversation of relative importance in the next episode. <laughs> Are you with Foxhound? No. I am a messenger from Zelali Lurelo. But instead of just talking, let's have an unnecessary code conversation. So, is this a privacy measure, or...? More like a budget thing. I've been given orders to provide you with limited and ambiguous backup. Ordered? By who? If I told you, it wouldn't be ambiguous now, would it? Hey, if anyone here knows ambiguity, it's me. Ha! Huh, you wish. 
All joking aside, there's a man in the third world court named Chicken Wings. He's being held there with the rest of the hostages. He should know the location of the president. You should need to disguise yourself as a soldier to get in there. But if you bump into anyone, your entire uniform will fall off. Because that's how clothing works. What's he look like? Hell if I know. It's astounding how helpful everyone is today. Well, let's face it. Once the opening scene ends, you have found him already. So, what's the point? Guess you're right. See you in 40 seconds, chicken wings. Since you're the only guy here who doesn't have an exact duplicate somewhere else, I'm guessing you're Chicken Wings. Oh, and the episode is called Big Grill. <laughs> How? Couldn't just peel it off or anything, could you? But who told you about me? Just the stranger in a ninja suit I've been taking all my advice from. Wow, you must lead such a fulfilling life. How? You're an agent of the abridged community, right? Actually, I was sent by the Lolly Lule Lo, just like you. Lolly, what now? Look, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm with Foxhound. I didn't log all those hours on Counter Strike just to be mistaken for a pedophile. This show went downhill since the last episode I was in. Let's switch over to Kodak for one of the few conceivably necessary instances in this entire game. Sure, why not? Oh, damn it, now I have no idea that he's a spy. The president is being held on the first floor of the Shell 2 Corps. Shell 2, you say? Yeah, the thing about that... Though I've ensured his safety, no question about it. The warhead they've stolen can't be activated without the president's vital signs. And the login system reads his brainwave patterns to ensure that he hasn't been coursed or drugged. It's absolutely failsafe. Okay, and they couldn't just steal one that didn't require all this over-the-top bullshit because... Well, the nukes were already here. After all, this entire facility is just a cover-up for the new Metal Gear. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal Gear, Grumble Grunt. Stow it, Snake's here. Oh yeah. This is Smooth Larry, and you're listening to WMGS 141.79, coming at you live from the Big Shell. So keep those requests coming, Manhattan. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah, I'd like to hear what those two old guys behind the glass in the Shell 1 core are talking about. Oh uh, yeah, we... <laughs> we gonna play that request for you, Caller, and we'll be right back after that. Oh, I'm not gonna make it this time! King, Fat Man betrayed us. Yes, and now he's dead. What's your point? Nothing. I just like being reminded of that. The man in the sneaking suit is my biggest concern right now. Foxhound has been dead for four years. Either the Patriots are behind this, or some military surplus store is making a killing. Well, we got the password entry from the president, but we'll need to verify it again in an hour. God, all this not torturing is torture. So, just who was that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? Your guess is as good as mine, if not better. And what exactly are you implying? I think the question is, what are you implying? That I betrayed your father and killed him? Ha! What a ridiculous accusation! You're crazy, paranoid, and dumb! No, I never implied that, but now that you mentioned it, that story that you fed me about how he really died doesn't seem to hold much water. Well, water's about the only thing he's holding right now. hey Cease your quarreling, peons. I am the best person here. Debate over. Ugh! This damn right arm! Liquid! Ah, uh, yes. How has the afterlife been treating you, brother? That depends. 
Who in the bloody hell are you? Ocelot, I'll leave this place in your hands. Well, your hand in Liquid's hand, rather. Not the right time, King. That was Solid Snake? That's what he says. But I get the feeling the guy has more screws loose than a BP oil well. Whoa, too soon. Really? Well, yeah, it's 2009 and that hasn't even happened yet. But from what I can gather, they got the launch verification from the president. Why would he agree to kill millions of people like that? It's not their plan. They're gonna detonate the nuke at a certain altitude and trigger an enormous EMP, knocking out internet access in Manhattan. What possible purpose could that serve? In a Bridger's safe haven from the watchful eyes of the Lali Lule Lo. Hence the sons of Bridgety, I suppose. But how would they even upload- Aw oh, crap, here comes Ocelot. <laughs> what have we here? Oh, I just asked him to remove the gag so I could, you know, fucking breathe and everything. Ladies and gents, give him the tack award for least convincing liar in an abridged series. Of course, I suppose it'd be quite easy to get yourself nominated, eh, Chicken Wings? You may have been sent in here to keep tabs on our good friend Mr. Graves, but there's only one grave you'll be seeing anytime soon, and what the hell are you doing? D damn it, Ocelot. I get it now. You're one of them! You're one of the original- Well, I would have preferred something a little more shooty, but killers can't be choosers. Hey, is this guy with your team? This is a guy? Hey, good news, Mr. Bullet. You are going on a trip today. I only have so many hands. Are you ninjas trying to make a necklace or something? Hey, Raiden, remember when I told you I had an acquaintance who could help fly out the hostages? Yeah, why? Whee! I can't wait to fly the Helima chopper! Raiden. <sighs> Meet Otacon. Otacon? Don't wear it out, home slice! <laughs> Colonel, just who are McFake name and his partner anyway? Losers, you should ignore them and finish your mission. <coughs> 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 Sorry, just got over a four-year cold that made me sound like Takahata. All right, well, since we've got that clunky transition out of the way... Everything keeps coming back to the abridged snakes. The quotes, the conspiracies and plot alterations, that ocelot guy, and now this half-retarded version of Otacon. You're keeping something from me. Jack, Snake died in episode zero. There's no way McFakening could be him. But then he can't be the terrorist mastermind, either! Nobody ever said he was except the mastermind himself. And if you're willing to take his word, then I've got a timeshare in Mexico to sell you. Believe what you will. But Snake and Dr. Emmerich were terrorists, and they did die on that tanker. Whatever. I need a distraction. Anyone else gonna eat that? Patriots chose beauty over brains, did they? Can't say I'm shocked. So you're the boss around here? Not just around here. I'm a bigger boss than Big Boss, making me the biggest boss of all the bosses ever. Solid Snake Boss. No, that is not Solid Snake Boss. My, it's always so lovely to have family over. Isn't that right, Snake? Snake? Right, get down. Your assault only aids my theatrics, brother. Then by all means, have some more. Look, I'm Barry Bonds! Oh, about ten years ago, that would have been hilarious.
Kojima! Not the best you can do, Snake. Nope. There. Mission over. See you, folks. Oh, look. How did this get here? Why, I'm getting the presidential treatment today. Now, not on my little money. Right. The Kasatka can't stand up to the Harrier, so you'll have to take care of this. You know how to use a missile as a jumping platform, right? Uh, of course you do. Good luck! I'll let you go out of time! Sir, I am trying to focus. You're tougher than I thought! If you keep shouting an idea, I think he's going to... Take it down. Alright, now they're dead. Oh, come on! Yay! I caught the ex-president! Who the hell invited Godzilla? Mommy, wherever you are, look! I'm sharing my munitions with the shell place! That Mom, little turd so got looking. my eye! And the wrong one, too! What I can do? Bam! Tear their fucking hearts out! Let's break already. No arguments here. Hey, what's that? Vampire Jesus? Congratulations. You've reached the point where this game really starts to lose its shit. Let's go swimming, Mr. President. Uh... Hey, kid. How you holding up? I... Don't know what anything is anymore. Don't dwell on it. It just gets worse from here. So, McFake name was a fake name? Your powers of perception are astounding. And you're really solid Snake? Define really. Snake, you're a legend. Why on earth would you choose to come back to this amalgamation of cheap references and fourth wall fuckery? I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. Not because you want to what? You're one word short of a full- Shut up! Kid, let me tell you something an old friend told me. We're not the tools of would-be comedy writers, nor eccentric Japanese game developers. We fight because we choose to. That doesn't make any sense! I hate you and disagree with everything you say! We learned that a new Metal Gear was being developed here, and terrorists planned to hijack it. So we came here to stop them. I love you and agree with everything you say! Olga, Snake is here. He's been spotted in Shell 1. Fantastic! I can finish what I started two years ago. Whoa, whoa. Don't go getting any revenge ideas now. You have a job to do. If you didn't want me to do something about him, why did you tell me that? Because I love creating needless dramatic tension. You are to guard the president until the next verification. End of discussion. All right, then. By the way, could you push that lever to your left? Why? What does it do? My job. <laughs> I am so out of here. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president, but the floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. And not even the good kind. I mean Canadian bacon. Find a remote control missile launcher and take out the generator. Done. What? But the launcher was in the corner of the flooded basement. Colonel, I just want to get out of here. I've put up with a lot of suspicious crap from a lot of people today. Just please, let me have this, okay? Well, it doesn't interfere too much with our script in any case. Script? You imagine that. You imagine this entire call. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes. I'm Nathan Graves, 989, interviewer and president of the Abridging Community. I'm here to- What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were that woman. That makes it okay? What in God's name were you planning to do to her? Okay, look. Let's just switch over to Kodak. And please stop screaming. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm good now. Vampire Jesus Snake was right about you. I already apologized, didn't I? I think you've got a bit more than that to apologize for. Didn't you input the launch code for the terrorists? Yep. I was gonna help them out, but I changed my mind when I found out they were crazy. No, you mean the old man in the muscle suit, the nympho vampire, the rotund bomber on skates, and the weepy human shield were crazy? I know. I was surprised, too. But I joined them because I sought power. Power to surpass the Patriots. 
Didn't the Giants beat them in the Super Bowl last year? That's a joke that's never been made before. No, the Patriots run the entertainment industry. Viacom, Sony, TV Tokyo, Capcom, all of it is governed by them. Even the White House. The White House is an entertainment corporation? Only the biggest one there is. Remember Clinton's affair? People couldn't shut up about it. And how many catchphrases did George W. Bush spawn just by talking? Hell, we've even got a plot twist. There's a black guy in the Oval Office now. Nobody saw it coming. It was bold, edgy TV. Nobody knows who the real patriots are. All I know is that every major decision comes down to a group of 12 obsessive old tycoons known as the Wiseman's Committee. Every abridger I've interviewed, I did on indirect orders from them, passed around between various people on their payroll. I just wanted the power they had, but Solidus had other plans. Solidus? The abridging community knew him as Simon Belmont 101, my predecessor. But in truth, he was a survivor of the Les Serpents Abregia project that birthed Solid and Liquid Snake and was given the name Solidus Snake, because even the Patriots weren't cruel enough to name him Gas Snake. They allowed him to keep tabs on the community as its representative, until four years ago. He sent Revolver Ocelot, a trustworthy agent if ever there was, to Shadow Moses Island to inspire Liquid's revolution. But after the incident passed, the existence of Metal Gear Rex and the Genome Soldiers became public knowledge via the abridged snakes and the Patriots tried to remove him from the picture. So that's why his account got banned. Correct. But that wasn't all that they had planned. If Ocelot hadn't helped them hide away, he'd be flipping that cape of his in hell. He waited until the Patriots' new Metal Gear project was complete so he could seize it and use it against them. That one that thinks it's a toddler? No, that was Metal Gear Ray. And it's so two years ago. Rather, this entire facility is Arsenal Gear. A new model of Metal Gear. Despite the fact that it doesn't fit the traditional definition of a Metal Gear at all, and is actually a giant ship with a bunch of nukes and Metal Gear rays inside it. Also, it has full access to every corner of the internet. It could delete every single abridged series on YouTube if the Patriots so willed it. Not just YouTube either. Mega Video, Daily Motion, any of those other shitty sites nobody goes to. Solid is planned to make the activities of bridgers in the New York area blind to the Patriots. If he succeeds, then someone could complete an entire series and upload it en masse from a different location. Of course, this would also knock out things such as 911 lines and hospital equipment. He calls this plan Outer Heaven for some reason or another. Outer Heaven? There's two things you have to do. For one, take this disc to Emma Emmerich Arsenal's programmer. It's a virus that will f*** Arsenal shit up. Alright, thanks. As for the other, kill me! What? Did I do that? Son of a- Forget it. This is a running gag that needs to carry through every series. And this one's no exception. Because Quadros is a hack. And the Red Sox su- uh, uh. Right, what's your status? Oh, I'm fine. President's kind of dead, though. So did you know about this whole Arsenal thing? Yeah, pretty much everything about it. And were you ever planning on telling me? What fun would that be? Snake, there's something I need you to tell me about. That thing on the tanker two years ago? No, I can just go back and watch that episode. But in the abridged snakes, Liquid seemed driven by the idea of outer heaven. And now Solidus is obsessing over the same thing. You were there, Snake. What really happened in Outer Heaven? <sighs> it was 14 years ago, and one of the most awkward building layouts in history. And then after the place self-destructed, NATO apparently called in an airstrike. Not like they really needed to. It's like putting a burnt piece of toast in the toaster. So, the Snatcher thing, did that actually happen? Because if so, that's really confusing chronologically. Welcome to Metal Gear, kid. Raiden, there's something I should tell you. Emma Emmerich, or EE -E as I call her, is my stepsister and she's afraid of water. What? She's like 70% water. Is she afraid of 70% of herself? Yes. Ever since the day my dad drowned and she almost did too. I would have gone to help them, but I was... 
busy. Busy? What had you so busy you couldn't help a situation that desperate? desperate. Oh no! My son and my second wife? This is terrible! Not even the Star Wars Special Editions can compare! Come on, E.E. We're leaving this plane of adultery and deceit. No, Daddy! You can't drive an electric wheelchair into a swimming pool! The water will rape you up to butt! Goodbye, cruel world! Oh, God, you're so hot, Mom! <laughs> you know, I'm really not sure how E.E. E. survived that, come to think of it. Miracles happen, I guess. Yes, physics-defying miracles. I learned that from Shadow Moses. Otacon, the whole basement is flooded. How am I supposed to get her through if she's afraid of water? You know, you have a valid point. This is an escort mission combined with an underwater level. Practically gaming hell in its purest form. Add into the mix an unreasonable companion who, by the way, may not have taken a bath or shower in over a decade, and I won't lie. I kind of feel for you, kid. Oh, God, I hadn't even considered that. Thanks. Glad to do my part. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. Look, I'm sorry, but this whole freezing thing, it's kinda new to us, so we're in a bit of disarray at the moment. But I had a reservation. It was VAMP. V-A-M. I think I know how to spell VAMP. Alright, I'm looking at the V again, and... Nope, not seeing it. Did someone say not seeing it? No. No more flashbacks! Maybe this will be exciting. Most human muscles are quite telling and predictable. But yours... Oh my... Looks like you were expecting me. Well, I cannot allow you to have your way with Arsenal gear. Instead, I shall have my way with you. Even if Graves can no longer verify the nuclear launch, we will use the purified hydrogen bomb aboard Arsenal to have our revenge. Six months ago, the Patriots released a failed Geico ad campaign in an isolated area and had the unimpressed civilians killed. We were framed for their monstrosity, and the public ate up every word of it. We will remove those mindless sheep and their shepherds from the face of the earth. So when the people thought you were terrorists, you decided to really become terrorists. Brilliant! Attention all Arsenal personnel. The final check has been well, completed. No it way. sounds like they're Still almost at 99%. ready. What say we get this started? By the way, if you fall into this I mean, water, you will instantly drown. So but not me. Side, but it's still so have fun with like that. Uh, Damn it, stop flipping around! Just deal with it. After all, don't you fancy yourself a vampire killer? You bet your well-toned vampire abs! Oh. Oh, I hope you're buying this even though you saw me swimming around in this crap earlier! And now Vamp is dead forever. And I'm confident about that. Freeze! Ugh, Snake was right. You smell like a fecal-covered rancid Brussels sprout urinating on- Oh, perfect. You are urinating. Fantastic. Uh, who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you an escape and a much-needed bath. No! I refuse to touch even a single molecule of H2O! But you're touching several right now! <laughs> okay, let's go to Kodak for no reason. Look, I have nanomachines. That means I'm not a terrorist. Not enough. Tell me something I can trust. 
The president of Abridging told me to give you a disc so you can shut down a giant evil computer that will censor the internet. Okay, I believe every word of that. The place is starting to flood. Come on! Well, if we stay here, you won't exactly have a choice. Don't you want to see your brother again? Oh, I can't swim! Hal said you used to love swimming. Oh, I can't swim! I'll guide you, so just close your eyes and deal with it. No, I was injected with something! I can't move my legs! Oh. You moved them just fine trying to get away from me. Okay, I'm lazy. What do you want? Look. I'll carry you, so just close your eyes, hold your breath, and grab onto me. The other option is stay here and die. And that's out of the question because I need you to shut down Arsenal. Uh, I, I think I'm ready. Good. One, two, three. Wait, my glasses! Vampire H. Christ! Why the hell don't you wear contacts? Excuse me if I don't like voluntarily shoving things into my eyes. Besides... I can see just fine. I wear them because of my crush on my stepbrother. But it's not like I like him or anything. <laughs> oh, please just save it for your therapist. Come on, let's go. Raiden, what's your status? I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Oh, congratulations. When you get home, I'll be certain to decorate you with the dignified Medal of Breathing. I'm proud to accept it, sir. One problem. The bridge got blown away by Solidus. How am I supposed to get Emma to the Shell One core? There should be an oil fence at the bottom of strut L you can use. Now go strut the slut across that strut. Oh, sure. Just because she wants her stepbrother's gene stick, that automatically makes her a slut. Real mature, Colonel. Right. Get down here, ASAP. Otacon's using the computer terminals to watch this weird thing with underage girls. I'm not sure it's illegal when they're animated, but I'm not sure I want to take the chance. Well, if my stepsister was around, we could at least make some progress. I miss her, and if she were here, the first thing I'd say is, I love you, sis. Ready for a family reunion, then? How? Ee -e? Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? What? Our family carries the shame of nuclear development, and now you do too, you fucking retarded whore! Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you walked out on me! I hate you! I hate you too, you miserable little cut! Shut up! You're both equally irritating! And just who are you? Your boss for the next 24 hours, and I don't pay you to whine. Right, taxi that bitch over here, or it's your ass on the line too. This is so not worth eight bucks an hour. The president gave me this disc. He said you could use it to kick Arsenal in the arse and all. This is my program! I can tell just by looking at the unmarked floppy disc. Did something happen to the president? He got killed by Ocelot. Sad. So you wrote this virus? It's not actually a virus. It's a worm cluster that... That damages a computer program. Exactly! Right, that virus. Look, don't tell me how to explain this. I created DMCA, Arsenal's core AI, so I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, great. I guess you know about these Patriot a-holes. Yeah, sort of. But I like to go to Kodak when I expose it. Call it a quirk. <laughs> okay, now Nathan said that DMCA could be used to remove any abridged series from the internet immediately upon detection. The Patriots seem to operate under the assumption that an abridged series is meant to serve as a replacement for the original source material, an all-too-popular source of piracy, basically. They fear the idea that derivative works can garner as wide a fan base, if not wider, than the original work itself. That's absurd. That's business. <sighs> All right, so what I'm getting from this is that Arsenal Gear is basically a big shell for DMCA, which is important enough that they decided it needed Metal Gears, a nuclear warhead, and a hydrogen bomb. DMCA only decides what gets deleted and what doesn't. The actual task is carried out by the internet itself. During the Y2K panic, a program was distributed worldwide containing a countermeasure, as well as a subsystem sending the groundwork for Arsenal. The 
he predicted the existence of a bridge series in 1999? Are you really gonna point out every plot hole caused by the parody's alterations? Jeez, I swear, Hal Jr. is the only one in this place who doesn't tell me about everything. Hal Jr.? My parrot. He's my baby. That Hal Jr. You're not a boss, are you? Because you're creepier than fucking vamp. Gun ciphers and claymores down here. Emma, you go first. But, hey, other than the gunfire and explosions, this is actually pretty peaceful. Ta da! Hell, go ahead and try something. I'm sure you'll kill me for real this time. Hey, you're not sparkly at all. It's no good. I can't do it. I can. Oh, see you in five years. Great. Now she's safe and we can. Did anyone actually see him stab her? Right, she's still alive, but that's not gonna last much longer. Get your ass over to Shell One with that disc. I'll get there as dramatically as possible. How's Emma? She just got stabbed in the gut. I'm sure she's doing fantastic. Just hand over the disc. That, uh, should make the doohickey do stuff. Huh? Is it supposed to turn blue? No, it's not, Snake! Damn! It didn't finish! Did you adjust the upload settings? I put the disc in the thing! Monica, will the virus still work? I don't know! How? Is everything alright? <laughs> Tell her she just destroyed the world. Yes, everything's fine, Emma. Uh, good. I'm glad I... didn't doom our family. To another terrible mistake. Did I just feel like guilt? <laughs> Weird. Oh, Hal. I've always loved you. My giant parrot brother. You don't hate me? Uh, nope. I design arsenal so that you could see me as a lover and not a sister. Oh, ee e. That's disgusting. Please. Make your Twizzler lips. Call me Emma. But EE, -E, what's wrong with EE, EE? -E? I've always called you EE, EE. -E. Emma? Emma? No! You were so soon dead. Uh, it's Japanese for bitch. <laughs> I didn't leave you because of the accident. I had a relationship with your mother, and it drove Dad into the pool. It looks like Otacon was <laughs> one sad mother yeah. The man's stepsister just died. Show some respect. Don't let me get stabbed by Vamp Hal! <laughs> <laughs> Attention, the first here is ready for launch. Please store all personal items in the overhead compartment. They're about to get the shell. Thank you for traveling. That means we sink. That kind of sucks. Otacon, get the hostages out of here. Wyden and I'll make sure the ones who drowned today are the ones who deserve it. I should be going with you. No, really. I insist. I get it. I'm worthless and annoying, not deaf. Otacon, this is your chance to be a hero in your own way. Right. Look, you can't destroy Arsenal. It's a ship, so your only option is to take out Solidus. How? Mom and I 
fucking chair! Damn! Otacon, if you can remember the handshake, you can do this. I, I think so. Think he'll be all right? Oh God, Emma! <laughs> he'll be fine. As for you, Mr. X, the hell? All right, time for a simulator and can't punch up. Snake, what the hell? You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. No, but it was implied. This is for every crappy reference I had to listen to. Oh God! part of the game. Yeah, the snake's right. I'm better off here. Is he still alive? Should be. But I've checked all the databases. CIA, FBI, NBC, CBS. Not a damn one has a thing on the kid. You think I didn't know that? I, however, know him quite well. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. Now let's see if the Dr. Octopus scan turns up. <laughs> they fucked with your head worse than I have. This is my son. The son I have seen fit to strip naked and bind to a torture bed. I don't see the resemblance. Do you really think you can attribute all your skills to gaming? No, Jack. Your fighting days go all the way back to the Liberian Civil War. Let's rewind the clock a bit to 1989. The release of the Game Boy took every child in the world by storm. Every child except for you. You were busy murdering swathes of civilians under my command at the tender age of 10. So of course, once the war ended, I did what any reasonable godfather would do. Left you in a relief center to be picked up by whoever the hell cares. Unfortunately, that seems to have been the Patriots. Think we can use him? As per their M.O., they have left him in the dark on, well, everything. But interrogation is not our only means of obtaining information. Now you're just teasing me. <laughs> Shut up, Liquid. <sighs> Thanks, King. Hmm, damn. You're the spitting image of your dad. <laughs> you truly are a riot with that whole infatuation act, Ocelot. Uh, yep, that's goofy old Ocelot for you. Always acting. Big Teddy Shoes Car Warehouse and Emporium, where we've got all the best deals on pre-owned models from 2005 and up. That's right, Big Teddy will never steer you wrong, because we're watching you. Yes, we're watching everything you do. Privacy and freedom, <laughs> they're just sad illusions that we provided for you. But you'll forget all about this, since you love living in this fantasy. You just go on. Continue claiming to this pathetic facade called Control. Well, this is a familiar sight. In the mood for a drug lecture? Where am I? Inside Arsenal Gear, but also in a flashback to the abridged snakes of sorts. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hate this bitch, so I'm out. Do not move. We are being monitored. We're going to Kodak again, aren't we? Oh, thank God, we can finally drop the pretenses. Mr. X? The ninja? Yes, it is me. Isn't this sort of a conflict of interests? My cooperation with Sorites is a ruse. I deceived my own men that I was really under orders to guide you. Orders from the Patriots. Never get tired of hearing that name. Snake, what the hell? You're letting Meryl die? You remember your heart condition. In hell. 
Two years ago, after the tanker incident, my men and I had no choice but to trust a Russian crime syndicate, which turned out to be owned by... Take a wild guess. I was pregnant at the time, and they seized my child immediately after delivery. I have never even held her in my own arms. I get it. Well, it's not like it's your fault. How is the deception of my loyal soldiers not my fault? Because patriots is why. But why are you working with Snake? My judgment of him was just slightly premature. I thought he had killed my father, but it turns out he is the only reason my men and I still live. So he guilt-tripped you? He usually just yells at me. No, it was mutual gain. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, the Patriots will kill my child. That is why your success is vital. Someone actually wants me to succeed at anything? Yes and no. It's confusing. I'll punch you, freeze you in a couple of minutes, then send you off to Solidus. That feels more consistent with my day. Ow! I warned you. <sighs> Jack, are you alright? I'm naked, I've been electrocuted, suffocated, and punched in the gut. I am fucking fantastic, Rose. Was Solidus telling the truth, Jack? Come to think of it, yeah. But using small children in war like that, it's inhuman! So is Chick-fil-A, but that still exists. I thought you didn't remember your childhood. It's been coming back to me in nightmares. He stuck a gun in my stubby little underdeveloped hands and I never bothered to ask why. I feel asleep, though someone set up us the bomb. Congratulations, a winner is you. He said shoot, I said how dead. It was the only way to survive until the next day. Oh god, Jack, it sounds horrible. They showed us movies every day. Really cool action movies with guns and explosions. Dear God, they made us watch Die Hard. Those heartless bastards! We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Those... wait, once a day? Gunpowder? How did they expect malnourished children to be effective soldiers? Don't poke holes, Rose. This is tragic. I have nightmares. I'm afraid of the night. The blood on these hands will never come clean. Oh, Jack, I'm taking you so seriously right now, even though your voice is cracking hilariously. I know why I was chosen for this mission. The only one who can beat Solidus is me. Jack, I love you. You have to believe me. Sure, you're a trained killer, but I'm sure if we just sit down and talk about it- No! I don't want to act reasonable in any way when it comes to my past. I can't start a family, Rose. Then my child will have a killer for a dad, then will have a shitty childhood just like I did, and then he'll bitch endlessly just like I do. I refuse to put my non-existent seed through that self-created scenario, Rose. Finally. Damn, when they said this would be a bare-bones operation, they weren't kidding. Raiden, do you copy? Proceed to next checkpoint to achieve top score. I need to find Snake first. He has my gear. No, you must defeat Solidus in the nude and retrieve Arsenal in the nude. Colonel, are you working for the Patriots? Enough questions. The truck has started to move. You know, Colonel, I just remembered. I've never actually seen you in person. You have been warned. Press the back button on your browser immediately or be eliminated. Jack, it's me. Oh, thank God, Rose. The Colonel's trying to drive me insane. I know our last talk didn't end so well, but you're the only comfort I have in my life right now. Jack, I'm a spy for the Patriots. Well, Lolly, Lou Lalo, what a freaking shock! Even my goddamn girlfriend's in on the conspiracy. Jack, I swear I never meant to hurt you. Really? So you monitored me for two years and sent notes on everything I said and did to the powers that be fucking with my life, but you never meant to hurt me? I guess that makes it all okay. My voice gives me super strength. Brooklyn rage. Screw the rules, I have money. Jack, it hurt me too. Having to be someone I wasn't for you. I fell in love with you. But the person you loved wasn't really me. Yeah, I guess not. Lying whores aren't really my type. Look how likable I am, audience! Oh, Jack, I... I'm pregnant, Jack! With your baby. Rose? Rose! How was Babby formed? You 
need to do way and stain, Mother. Didn't you know that? Snake! Aren't you gonna give me my clothes? I'll get around to it. In the nude. Sorry, kid. Had to use you as bait to get in here. But hey, it worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? Because I don't like you. Ugh. You're not allowed to get annoyed with me. I'm Solid Goddamn Snake. Arsenal's headed for Manhattan, so before that happens, we've gotta find Solidus and stop whatever trick he's got up his cape. We just have to get through his 25 Metal Gear rays first. Uh, but... Here, have a sword. 25 Metal Gears and you're giving me a sword? I didn't have to give you anything. But if you run out of ammo, I've got plenty. You sure about that? Yeah, infinite ammo. Uh, hold that nonsensical thought. Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? <laughs> You're serious. I feel like it's getting harder to tell the difference between reality and a game. You get that Jack Thompson bullshit out of here. No, it's not the VR. I was wrong, Snake. I've been doing this since I was a kid. Right. Well, killing people's bad, and I think you know that. But we're doing it for the right reasons, whether history vindicates us or not. We're officially terrorists now, aren't we? Well, great. So what do I do now? Find something to fight for, pursue it regardless of the consequences, and then force your ideals onto the next generation. That sounds incredibly selfish. Now you're catching on. Raiden, I've run a check on the frequency you've been talking with the Colonel on. It's actually coming from DMCA itself. You've been talking to an AI. The Colonel was a machine? Raiden. Snake, is any of this real? I know that the real Raiden is right here in front of me and has been pissing me off all day. That's no illusion. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> There they are! This is gonna look so freaking cool in the opening credits! Damn right it will! That went about as well as expected. Fortune. Solid Snake, you are the root of all my sorrows. Do I know you? My name is Helena Dolph Jackson. You killed my father. You'll have to be much more specific than that. Prepare to die. Looks like this is my dance. Go on ahead. Um, bullets don't hit her, you know. I've seen this kind of sorcery before. It's called bulletproof glass, and I know ways around it. And exactly what is your strategy? Jack, I see that you've finally remembered how to dismember. Or is this the Patriots A3 plan? What are you talking about? The A3 plan. Anti-abridging allocation. A plan to replicate the definitive wise-ass badass, Solid Snake, under their own control, to destroy the medium once and for all. Jack, I fondly recall the days that I made you murder a bunch of poor saps. My only regret is that you have been brought back to the battlefield under false pretenses. I have the utmost respect for you, Jack. Now fight these better gears and die, okay? And you wonder why I tried to repress How this? How about a kiss? I guess I'd better get going. 
Well, if it isn't Anna Pavlia. Olga, what are you doing? Run away, you idiot! Your nano machines are transmitting to the Patriots! If you die, my child dies! Get it? Sacrificing your men for the creature that freeloaded inside you for nine months? How amusing. But not amusing enough for you to live! Ugh! Flies, you fool! Olga! Well, that was fun. Your turn, Jackie boy. <laughs> What the crap? The MCA is going completely monkey balls. Arsenal is on an emergency ascent course. Do I have to kill everything today? Now, without further interruption. I have Snake. Bitch, what did I just... Oh, yes. Good job. You'll make it far in this organization. Snake, help. No. So, you're finally awake, Jack. That's no way to talk to your father. You know that he doesn't know anything. I have my vague and poorly justified reasons. Whatever. I have business of my own to attend to. Certainly. Have fun hijacking Arsenal. What? Who talked? Ocelot? Me. I gave Ocelot the idea to give you the idea. I had planned to give you Arsenal from the beginning. <laughs> That's awfully nice. So what's wrong with it? Without military backup, Arsenal has no hope of standing against an armed force. I have no interest in this oversized canoe. Then what were you after? A list of names. Of the Patriots! If DMCA has a way of filtering out that information, then it must contain the information itself. But with DMCA malfunctioning, you must be kicking yourself. I'm not ready to kick anything but asses just yet. Now why don't you go play with your new toy? Gladly. <laughs> Something funny? Oh, the funniest joke in this abridged series just came up. The fact that I've been playing you all for chumps. Chumps? The A3 plan was devised as a means to produce characters who would render abridged series obsolete. But the boys' gaming sessions and abridged series marathons were not the foundation of it. No. All the pieces of this incident were arranged to simulate the abridged snakes. The morbid sense of humor, the running gags, the perversion of the fourth wall. All of it was meticulously planned by the Patriots. We were manipulating your stupid ambitions from the start, Solidus. The project had no room for failure. Given the right situation, anyone can become a smart aleck on par with Snake. Solidus, you were selected because your relationship with the boy closely mirrors the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and Denzel were the stand-ins for Foxhound. A little disappointing to see as a former member, frankly. But when I sank the tanker two years ago and locked up your husband, the project had truly begun. Oh, our misfortune was for your inane little script! <laughs> oh, shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Yeah, this little gizmo was shielding you from gunfire. Frankly, I'm amazed you never noticed it. It's pretty big. This is rational! Yeah, good luck with that. Yay! Mommy's back! Ray, I think you heard the playtime. Do you really mean it, Mommy? Why don't you get out your toy? Uh, the exploding ones? What do you think? Damn. Fortune, what are you doing? Ocelot. She was a witch. My name is Olena Dolph Jackson. You killed my father. I'm prepared to die. Well, there goes your shield in any case. 
Now prepare. What? No! Brothers! Look right. I've been waiting for this. ¿Por qué no las dos? The hell is this? I've been inside Ocelot's arm, plotting my awakening. It was you on that tanker two years ago? You were there, Snake. We fucking spoke. I even fed you the info that brought you out to Arsenal. Now I'm off to destroy the Patriots. You know where they are? I'm in one. But before that, it's time to finish what I started four years ago. When you're living in an arm, I think that means I won. Not after you've drowned, Snake. Oh, taking me swimming. This is the best I don't know what you accomplish here, but... Snake! Why can't anyone tell me that a sudden loss of momentum was extraordinarily painful? I stare at the stars and the sky up above and think, what am I made of? Do you think tomorrow will bring sun or rain? Which one? Yesterday, my friend, I keep holding on till the end. Out of the darkness, there is no other way. Federal Hall. <laughs> oh, delicious irony! Say what? Well, today is April 30th, after all. The day George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America. That is very loosely tied to what I've been trying to accomplish here. The liberation of the abridging community from the Patriots' digital control. Being a clone. Like Snake and Liquid, I am unable to reproduce. Therefore, I must leave my legacy in this world through my ideas, through a bridging. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will end the Patriots, and that is my weak justification for calling us the Sons of a British! British, British, British. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. What? That's impossible. Emma's worm cluster destroyed the DMCA AI. You didn't think we'd bank everything on one, did you? Our empire spans every established media outlet on the globe. The wealth at our disposal is enough to make Scrooge McDuck shit gold bricks. What you're talking to now is SOPA. Subtle. But what do you have to gain from eliminating web parodies? <laughs> Jack, you just don't get it, do you? At one point, it was convenient for us to simply have abridged series removed, or to have their creators banned. After all, the law was on our side. However, something remarkable happened. DVDs, Blu-rays, and games which the mindless masses had never even heard of before began flying off the shelves. We had been trying to destroy the very thing which had helped to keep us afloat. Soon enough, we reached a breakthrough which would revolutionize the way we did business. 
Streaming media. Official releases made through Hulu and YouTube would ensure that even the have-nots could be of use to us. And that led us to the next phase, the A3 plan. But it doesn't stand for anti-abridging allocation, as Ocelot believed. It means absolute assimilation of abridging. Absolute assimilation? If we're to accept abridged series as an advertisement of the source material, the best route is to transform it into a profitable enterprise in its own right. Arsenal exists to root out those series lacking in quality or popularity in order to identify those which are ideal for our purposes and recruit their creators. We created the simulation of the abridged snakes as a way of testing the waters, so to speak. What kinds of jokes and references work? Which ones fall flat? How much of the original source material should be referenced? All things considered, with the results we received, I'd say our little project was a resounding success. And we couldn't have done it without you. Bullshit! One of the reasons people love abridging is that you don't need any credentials and there's no distribution charges. It's just a fun hobby for them. And how strongly do you believe that? How many abridgers are unemployed or stuck in dead-end jobs? How many would realistically jump at the opportunity to legally profit from that which has earned them so much recognition? Will that work? And finally, a tangible reward. Abridging isn't a business. At best, the skills people take away from it, the feedback, can be honed in an original product of their own design. How disgustingly predictable. Even now, you're just echoing Snake's sentiments. What? Alright, Jack. Would you like to know why so much of the fanbase despises you? Because you are the perfect portrait of the audience as a whole. Everyone may not be just like you, but some aspect of you is in everyone. An aspect they hate seeing personified. You laugh at things which weren't funny the last 800 times, then repeat them ad nauseum. Whining at the drop of a hat whenever the smallest thing doesn't go exactly the way you wanted it to. And that is why you were the perfect audience for our play. Ugh, you can't base an entire abridged series on a formula. It's boring. There's no way that can ever work. Why not? You people will laugh at anything. Look at this series and the jokes that the most thought was put into. Do you see those ones catching on? No, not a single mention of those moments in the comments. The biggest laughs came from the stupid throwaway jokes he put in to fill a void here or there. Even now, this video is being downvoted. Too much exposition. Too meta. Not enough references. Why do you think Seltzer and Friedberg can keep making movies? <laughs> Thank you for proving our point. Damn! Raiden, this is your final task. Take out Solidus. Why should I do anything you tell me to? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies! Son of a- Besides, Solidus at least wants you dead. That's right. I think you're going to go exactly by our script from now on. So enjoy the climax, you worthless little zombie. And while you're at it, why not crack a joke or two? Jack. Even though it's already been established that we both think the Patriots are complete asshats, we need some kind of reason to fight, so let's see. Ah, uh, yes. So it turns out I killed your parents. What the shit? I murdered them in cold blood and took you in, shaping you into Jack the Ripper. Why? Because I needed to know if you were really someone else's creation. Wh what What? That's like the worst justification for murder and kidnapping ever! But Liquid and Solid hunted down our father. No! Shut up! Typical politician! Big promises, but all talk! You've got no principles! Just like all the rest! Well then that makes this easier. Catch! I have my own reasons for fighting you. The info your nanomachines carry on the Patriots makes WikiLeaks look like encyclopedia. And pose! That was lovely. Hope you're ready to die. Is that all you've got? This is for my parents, whoever they were. Who the hell's idea was it to electrify a combat suit? 
Someday people will thank me for this. Of course they will, sir. Thank you, Major. Now bend over. Is this going to hurt? Doesn't it always? President Washington, let's go meet the other great revolutionaries. Some of this, I recruited men who were willing to fight for their freedom. You raised child soldiers to fight in a war abroad. You won't meet anyone great. You're going to hell! Ah, uh, damn it. What the hell Wadros is doing with this story? What the, the hell just happened? It's not really that important. How did you get here? You know, That's not important either. If you keep sweating the small details, you'll miss the big picture. That's why we abridge. But because of me, the Patriots are going to grab a hold of abridged series for their own purposes. Abridging is just a word. Parodies will always be around. And inevitably, they'll condense the source material. All the Patriots have done is seized a title, whether others choose to use that title or not, and the importance it holds is entirely up to them. So are you telling me that several people just died because of semantics? Pretty much. Hey, you got dog tags? What do they say? Uh, Lord Quadros, of course. Really? Because from here it looks like... Well, I guess we'll never know now, will we? <sighs> it's amazing. We've been in New York for upwards of 10 minutes and nobody's tried to run us over. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry, I'll find him. You're just assuming it's a boy? Never mind. Congratulations, you just bought yourself a suicide mission. Ah, damn it. So let me guess, that means you're going after Liquid and the Patriots. Yeah, with the info on Emma's worm disk. Unless, of course, it turns out to be a huge red herring, in which case we may just have to wait five years until something else comes along. So we're basically at the mercy of the plot at this point. Yeah, but in the meantime, you know that girl who's been abusing your codec minutes? Here she is. Have fun. Jack, is everything alright? Not really. I just got jerked around by pretty much everyone. It doesn't matter, though, as long as we have each other. Oh, Rose. I promise never to come home drunk and beat you mercilessly again. And I promise to never hook up with someone resembling the AI who tortured you emotionally if you wind up in a cyborg ninja body. I love you, Rose. And I love that these are all just hypothetical situations. Our future holds nothing but happiness. Listen, they're even playing our song. will react to the things we create. We never should. Just as we have the right to analyze the very media we mock, as we put our work out there, we open ourselves to the same treatment. Our advantage is that through an open, earnest exchange of ideas, 
we can evolve and adapt our craft. Not everyone will appreciate everything you do. In fact, statistically, someone has to hate it. But as long as even one person enjoys it, even if it's just you, it's worth doing. Snake, I cross-checked the data on that disk! Find anything useful? No. Shit, so all of this really was pointless after all. Not quite. I think I can help. Quadros, you were the one who set up the abridged snake simulation. Why the hell should we trust you? That was a dick move, and I'm sorry. If they told me what they were going to use it for, I'd have told them to shove it right up their ass. I can make it up to you, though. The Wiseman's Committee may be a dead end, but there's something on this disc I can use. It's a dossier from 1964 on a mission given to Big Boss. What the hell? 